Hey you guys, it's Britt tonight. We're here with a quick little update on Lauren the Mortician. She's been going live a lot more often and I decided to pop in on her live and something interested unfolded. So I'm gonna talk about it with y'all. So if you're interested, please keep watching. All right, you guys, so before we hop into more topics that are heavier in nature, I figured that I would pop in this little video because to me, it's just giving pathetic, it's giving, I blew my entire platform and now I'm just gonna claim that it's because of the haters and just nonsensical BS. So either way, Lauren the Mortician, we know all about her. I will link other videos down below if you don't know who she is or why I'm even talking about her um, specifically in this manner. But Lauren has almost 3 million followers over on TikTok and she decided that she would throw a temper tantrum because she didn't like what people had to say about her and she refused to allow the professionals, the actual professionals like Jamie Grayson, to just be a professional and share the stage share the stage with people who know more than you you don't have to have all the clicks all the likes all the attention all the whatever because you're an online content creator just because you have seen uh people that are deceased does not mean that you know more than anybody else in the room that's not how it works lauren missed the message she missed the mark and she decided to um you know, start an entire circus around people not liking her, being smarter than her, being more qualified than her, and just overall being exposed for being a really problematic individual. And I'm not talking about just a creator. I am talking about an individual. Sending wellness checks to people like Caffeinated Kitty, opening entire lawsuits with her uh, attorney, Janet Braun, all because she decided that she wasn't getting what she wanted out of her social media journey. She has decided to venture onto TikTok Live more often than I think she did before. Of course, correct me if I'm wrong down below, but I've been noticing her lives pop up on my FYP. And today I decided to, I don't know, I was bored and, you know, I, I guess I am just a bored hater after all, but I decided to drop a few comments and see if she would talk about the haters, talk about the lawsuit, talk about her not being able to handle people trying to hold her accountable for things that she actually said and actually did in or engaged with. Lauren fell for the bait. So on top of her views being down, she also went on an entire rant when it comes to her haters. People just being so sad and so miserable and you know, everybody just wants to bring her down and everybody gets happiness off of being mad at Lauren. Um, I am so tired of this narrative by creators. No matter what genre they fall in, it is a tired, argument to come onto your platform and claim that just everybody is a hater. Everybody has haters, but not everybody giving you criticism is a hater. I don't think that a lot of these people can reconcile the difference between, okay, there's a few people who are actually haters, and these people might actually be subscribers or followers who have seen a shift in my content or a shift in my behavior and they have every right to come to me and voice their concerns. A lot of TikTokers, YouTubers, influencers, creators, whatever you want to label them, they don't understand being able to segregate, okay, what's really going on with this set of comments or that set of comments? I am so tired of the pity party that comes from these creators. You never know where where the haters lurk. There's probably there's probably some in here now, but that's, that's okay. It is what it is. 
if making fun of me or being mean is what they need for a serotonin boost today, I can handle it. I can take it. It's fine. I'd rather have them pick on me than somebody else that can't take it. So, uh, honestly, I'm so fucking busy. <laughs> I don't even. I don't even have the time to. If I, if I see someone and I feel like they are gonna disrupt my peace or the vibes are off, I, I'm gonna block you. <laughs> and then, and then, if you throw a little bit, if you throw a little bit about it, like if if you like, oh my god, <laughs> I got blocked. I just want you to know. I, I laugh so hard. I, it, it brings me joy. <laughs> Somehow get off when people block you. <laughs> oh my gosh, I, I just can't even imagine that that's all you have to do in life. I put some concealer under my eyes because mama's tired. I'm tired. No, I, uh, I, I actually feel bad sometimes for people that they make videos and they want to they want to try to like sometimes I feel bad sometimes I don't so Lauren has decided to use TikTok live more often and I just found that to be really interesting that she kind of like she totally took the bait that I was putting out there like i dropping comments about haters and um you know you're suing everybody because they don't like you and sure enough, she went right in to talk about haters and throwing herself a little pity party. So I'm not sure what Lauren's long-term plan is, but her views are definitely down. She had a video about two weeks ago that hit a million views. Since then, her views are just not what they used to be. Like people, um, you know, I think a lot of people are taking the route of they're just kind of over it and that is totally fair and totally valid. Um, but what I want to say to close this video out because I really don't want it to be very long is Lauren, like some other creators that I have covered on my channel, completely took a golden opportunity and just blew it to smithereens. And I find this to be tragic but also like okay go ahead get out of the way because nobody cares because there are so many creators that are not phobic phobic toxic bullies hateful cruel um you know just lying and deceiving their audience and they are being consistent and they're playing by the rules and they're uploading really good content and they are ignored and they work and work and work some, sometimes for years before they have a single video go viral. So I would say my biggest takeaway from the lore of the mortician and the lawsuit and the issues with Jamie Grayson and everything that she has been involved in, my biggest takeaway is it's a reminder to focus on the creators who are good and are actually doing really good things. And, you know, even until like she got into the issues with being homophobic and spreading really dangerous messages about Jamie, I don't really know that Lauren was doing anything unique. And I guess that is up for discussion, depending on what you like and what you don't like or whatever. But I look at her content pre like a few months ago and I don't really see anything that's like, oh wow, like she was really doing something really cool. Tell me how y'all feel about that down below. But nevertheless, Laura the Mortician took my bait, she fell for it and went on that entire rant and I think that she has uh, completely destroyed her platform. And I find it to be, it's giving pathetic. But those are my thoughts for tonight. So if you like the video, please leave a like and a comment. And if you'd like to see more from me in the future, please subscribe. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.